Hey, it's Kamikaze coming back with another That's How I Mix It Monday. Today I'm going to go over Golden Comic, a new song that I did with my boy Midas that you can find on the Golden Touch YouTube channel and also on SoundCloud, Golden Touch. Uh, I want to go over how I deal with mouth noises or uh, harsh breaths that I that I get through the mic uh, before I, I do anything with plugins, uh, how I would do it with a fader. And then uh, I want to go over my... Um, Vocal chops that I did for the chorus, and then uh, Midas is a vocal chain. So going right into it, I'm just going to play you guys on a loop a couple times, the mouth noise that I'm dealing with, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to dial the fader in to deal with that before we uh, we get any uh, plugins into this mix. Here we go. Adding craze, damage brain, can escape, damage brain, can escape, damage brain, can So you can hear a little bit of a noise at the end of the at the end of this phrase and then it rolls into the next phrase so not too hard to do with this uh what i like to do is grab the fader and i like to start moving it back and uh listen to the this on a loop over and over again and just keep moving those arms until it starts sounding polished now this won't take this away completely, but it will definitely reduce the volume and reduce the sibilance and then get it uh, prepped for everything else that you're going to do to it. Like a de uh will take care of the rest of this and polish it off for you. So. Can't escape damage brain. 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 So as you can hear, it took off quite a bit, and uh, it's, it didn't take it off all the way. Like I said, uh, it just prepares it. This is a uh, pre-plug-in, um, so it's kind of like uh, doing you know your your gains um, before any of your plugins. Um, this is just a good way to, to deal with that so that your de is not uh, doing all the work. It kind of levels it out, and everybody's kind of pulling their own weight. So uh, moving along, here is the vocal chops that I did. I just want to go over these really quickly. Um, the decisions were really based off of what noises sounded the most percussive. So, for instance, um, Midas came over. We wanted to have a classic uh, feel to this chorus. He, he came up with Golden Comic, g g Golden Comic, and uh, just went perfectly with the beat. So we, we went with that, and, we, and he knew he wanted to have it chopped off, uh, or not chopped off, chopped up. Um, and it's the first time that I've ever uh, uh, taken on a task like that. I've never really uh, gone about uh, chopping up a vocal to make it sound a classic or to make it sound in any kind of way. Uh, so this was a really fun to do. Uh, it was a fun new task. Uh, so the way I did this, I watched a few videos. And uh, most of them all said, uh, look for, for uh, percussive noises, the most percussive sounds that you're, you're hearing here. So what you're seeing with all these chops is me experimenting, finding where those percussive noises are and, and uh, expressing them uh, in different ways. So what you're seeing here is every chop that I did, it could, it could cause a pop. So I did take out words here, you know, and then kind of squished all these phrases together so he's kind of saying part of one phrase and then it's going into the nether so like go comic go, go golden comic you know it's more like but but more chopped up uh more glitched jittery if if you want to say that um but if you look at this sound wave it's really similar to this sound wave and the reason being it's the same sound wave so I, like I said, I found the most percussive noises that I could find, and I noticed that that was in the K, in the comic, and in the G uh, of the golden. So, two perfect uh, areas for me to clip a whole bunch of noises from to make uh, different little chops and different little runs. Um, on Midas's, I, I just wanted to do, like, uh, if we were playing with his voice on a sample piano or something like that. So, uh, on this specific phrase right here... I grabbed the run. We started with the ka, ka ka ka, ka So I wanted it to go ba 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 ba, you know. But I wanted it to go up the octave chain. So literally, all I had to do was just transpose each vocal sample up one, and uh, that that achieved the flavor that I was looking for. 
Uh, another example of this is the run down over here. So you'll hear in the chorus, it'll go da 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 da, and then it'll go da 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 on on a vo uh, Midas's side of the the chorus here. So I have the first phrase, I have it running up the transpose, and I have this one, I have this one doing the opposite. I have it this one starting at the at the top, and then working its way down. The last chop that I experimented with uh, with this song was I grabbed the G's and I layered them right on top of each other um, so that they would play almost like a machine gun going off. So, um, and I thought that sounded really nice. I didn't transpose these at all because I wanted to sound as percussive as possible. Uh, so I left them as normal and I just faded them in and out so I didn't get any popping. So I'll play this whole phrase for you so you can uh, hear everything I just went over. Golden comic, golden comic, comic, golden comic, we're making history. Golden comic, golden comic, golden. I have certain phrases cut off comic, and then and then certain phrases where it plays out the whole phrase uh, as it was recorded. So that's just how I I went about the chops uh, for golden comic, and then uh, for his vocal chain, I wanted to keep it uh, nice and classic. So. I just wanted to add each one of these one by one so you can hear uh, exactly what they're doing. So I'm going to go back to his uh, verse and I'm going to start playing these. And then I'm just going to start adding the plugins on one by one. And uh, and uh, you'll hear it just keep getting more and more uh, uh, better. And I'll go, I'll go over the chain first before I do that. So real quick rundown of the chain. We got our subtractive EQ. Not doing too anything too crazy here. We're rolling off some low end. We had some uh, trouble frequencies right here that we dipped. in that 3K son of a bitch right there we took out. This was a song where we were really using a lot of ch rhymes. And uh, we were going about that in a very classic way. So we, we weren't really... Uh, uh, Preventing himself sort of pronouncing out the words fully like that. My banter, t -t uh, uh, songs like uh, sounds like that. Um, so we were getting a lot of sibilance from that. So I added a deesser on the direct line, and then we move over into our additive EQ. I also use it as a little bit of a subtractive EQ. I rolled off some more low end, a little bit more mid. And then I, I, I added some high. Reason why we're using the Swept 73 here is what I want a nice, classic sounding mic. Um, especially uh, with the mic I'm using, I'm using the MXL uh, A80. Uh, I noticed that this plugin does give me a little bit more of a classic vibe. Um, makes me sound more like I'm going for the era that I want. Um, so that's why I use this EQ here. What you're seeing at the end here is my compressor chain. We have one more EQ, just doing some slight dips. And then we got two more compressors. The reason why I have three compressors here is uh, the same reason why I did that fader earlier. Is uh, I want the workload to be spread out, and that way one plugin's not uh, asserting itself too much, so you don't um, you keep more uh, of a natural flavor to your to your voice as well. And you don't hear too much of the plugin. Uh, if if you wanted to have the plugin really blaring, um, you would use the plugin more uh, more so. So what I mean by that is on the meter when when you see his uh, vocal going through, you'll see that each one of these meters hitting about three dB. So I notice around that range, uh, we're compressing, but we're not squishing the vocal to where we're really hearing that compressor work. So that's his vocal chain. I'm going to add them on one by one as we play through, and you'll just hear the, the vocal go and uh, get a little bit more better, a little bit more classic. Lyrical mic master, slight bastard, fly rapper, eye catcher, mind blaster, rhyme pastor, eye blacker, white, white cracker, cracker that believes that black lives matter. Quite past it with my chatter, come right at ya with my banter. Golden touch is my banner. I'm Bruce with that gamma ray cancer. Madden craze, damage brain, can't escape, damage brain, can't escape, damage brain. Hang at your gang, can't maintain stature. Thanos hand snapper, y'all dumber than flat earth. Doomsday, blue flames, rapture, your new fate. So what you're hearing there in the, the direct line is uh, me 
dealing with any problem frequencies, adding them back in a controlled manner, and then expressing them through uh, uh, compressors and bringing out the presence with the compressors. Going over Midas's bus chain, we got another uh, de-esser. This song, like I said, it had a lot of uh, uh, rhyme schemes where we were dealing with a lot of uh, sibilance and a lot of uh, chuz and a lot of tuz and a lot of shh and uh, all, all of them. We had all of them, so I added another de-esser. Um, just so we could polish that off before I, I uh, plug in any more additions, um, such as Nectar. Nectar, I notice, adds a lot of classic uh, quality to it with this dynamic area. And it, it brings the vocal back a little bit without tearing away your presence, um, which uh, I notice uh, in a lot of older recordings that I've listened to, um, you, you hear that a uh, little bit more, uh, the vocal back and not so present so that's what i use the nectar here for uh standard uh rq6 here i just dipped out a little bit of the 7k hertz range i just uh, it was the tuz and the chuz that that did that right there uh, i just heard them coming through and uh, i i was able to uh, find that frequency and cut them out there we added a little bit more classic flavor with the sweeps And then we brought out more presence with the Chris Lord and a little bit more grit. That's perfect This what this plugin does. Uh, it brings out grittiness in the vocal um, without uh, distorting or um, making it sound unnatural. And then Neutron, uh, I added back in some more frequencies in the air band area. And then I rolled off more of that unnecessary low band. So I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to play through his line and I'm just going to add these on one by one. Lyrical mic master, slight bastard, fly rapper, eye catcher, mind blaster, rhyme pastor, eye blacker, white cracker, that believes that black lives matter, quite past it with my chatter, come right at ya, with my banter, golden touch is my banner, I'm Bruce with that gamma ray cancer, Madden craze, damage brain, can escape, damage brain, can escape, damage brain. Battle ring at your gang, can't maintain stature. Thanos head snapper, y'all dumber than flat earth. Doomsday, blue flames rapture. Your new fate equals two Hussein's capture. Black Panther hand raised. I hope you have answers. Why are you? So, with this vocal chain, I found that I could get a classic vibe, a classic feel. Uh, bring the vocal uh, back and uh, and add presence to it at the same time. Um, so the beat's not overpowering or overtaking the vocal. And uh, it sounds like we're we're all on the same page. So that's how I mixed it. Uh, Golden Comic Edition. Uh, make sure to look up the song if you haven't heard it yet on uh, the Golden Touch YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be every single Monday. That's how I mixed it. Uh, we're going to be trying to do a song every single Wednesday from a new artist on the Golden Touch uh label and then uh as well on fridays we're bringing back freestyle fridays so you'll you can expect me doing a freestyle friday midas doing a freestyle friday and if you have fire bars come spit a fucking freestyle friday with us and we'll get that shit recorded and uh, put up on the channel so uh other than that you guys have a good rest of your week and peace